When it comes to this time of the year, All Hallows' Eve, there is nothing more iconic than the jack-o'-lantern. The traditions of carving jack-o'-lanterns are a great example of the blending of cultures in 19th century America. In the early 19th century, it is estimated pumpkins were first carved and lit for Halloween time in both Ireland and Somerset, England. This practice came from old superstitions about warding off evil spirits. October 31st seemed the most significant time for this, as it was both on the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain when the spirits of the dead could return, and on the eve of the Christian All Saints Day and All Souls Day, when the dead were honored. In 1835, the Irish legend behind the jack o' lantern was first published. According to the story, a drunkard named Jack ran into the devil late one night. Depending on the variation on the story, Jack either tricked the devil to climb a tree or climb into his coin purse. Regardless, Jack trapped the devil with a cross and refused to let him go unless he promised he would never take Jack's soul. When Jack eventually died, he had been too evil to get into heaven and couldn't get into hell, so the devil gave him burning coal and doomed him to walk the earth for eternity. Jack carried the coal in a carved turnip, which would supposedly inspire the carved pumpkins now prominent in 1830s Britain. In North America, the pumpkin and carved variation thereof was already closely associated with the Halloween season. In Washington Irving's 1820 story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, the headless horseman wore a jack-o'-lantern in place of his missing head. It wasn't until 1834, however, that a carved pumpkin would be referred to as a jack-o'-lantern. The end of the American Civil War saw an increased interest in ghosts among all Americans, leading to the widespread adoption of Halloween as a major holiday. This, combined with a growing interest in carving pumpkins like the old Irish tradition, led to Jack Lanterns and Halloween's close association. In 1866, the Jack Lantern had become a symbol of Halloween. An Ontario newspaper wrote of Halloween festivities mentioning, quote, a great sacrifice of pumpkins from which to make transparent heads and face, lighted up by the unfailing two inches of tallow candle. The popularity of the jack-o'-lantern rapidly spread across the continent. An 1885 article noted, It is an ancient British custom to light great bonfires. But in place of this, American boys delight in the funny grinning jack-o'-lanterns made of huge yellow pumpkins with a candle inside. Records in 1892 tell of a great Halloween party at the home of the mayor of Atlanta, Georgia, decorated with grinning jack-o'-lanterns. Even so, jack-o'-lanterns were just synonymous with the harvest season in much of America, even being suggested as an important decoration for Thanksgiving in an 1895 article. However, their place as an iconic Halloween decoration would be the one to stick. In the early 20th century, this idea was solidified when young boys began dangling carved pumpkins from strings to try to scare neighbors and friends around Halloween time. Although Halloween hit a rough spot and lost popularity due to out-of-control pranks in the 1930s and 40s, by the 50s, trick-or-treating made a safer way to celebrate the holiday, and jack-o'-lanterns filled the streets once more. Since then, as evidenced by abundant Halloween decorations and holiday specials such as the 1966 It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, jack-o'-lanterns have been the iconic face of Halloween. I do hope you have all enjoyed this year's holiday specials. I plan on doing the same for Christmas come December. Don't worry though, starting next week, I'll be back to my regular history videos. Let me know what you think of this, and if you'd like to see it again next year. Until next time, this is Matthew, and Happy Halloween!